Welcome to our lesson on practical lesson two. This is a way to connect simple circuit. I have shown the circuit to be connected on the board. Okay, so we have here a variable resistor, which is this. Okay, then we have a switch, which is this. I'm missing its key. Then I have a source of EMF, a bulb, ammeter, and then mounted wire. This is a mounted wire. And then you have a voltmeter down here. So the first thing we do is, remember what I taught yesterday. This is your paper. This is your paper, okay? This is the practical paper. So I have it on my working station. I have it. So arrange items the way they are drawn here. So the farthest, I can see the farthest, okay? This is now here. The farthest I can see is the, the source of EMF. On the right, I can see the bulb. Here is the bulb. I put it there. Then I have also on, on the extreme, the farthest end, I have a switch. I place it there. Okay? Now, on the extreme left, I have a variable resistor. Remember, a variable resistor has three pins, but we can only connect two consecutive pins. So either this and that, or left and the middle. So right middle, or left and the middle. I place it there. Then I have my mounted wire here. I keep it here. I have my voltmeter here. Now, I just drew your attention to the board. This circuit has two loops. Okay? Two loops. The major loop, this, is a major loop. So I can say loop one. And then there is this now, which we can say loop two. A major loop and a minor loop. A major loop will have quite some items. A minor loop has only voltmeter. So what do you do? After arranging them in the positions shown, after I've arranged them according to my question paper, the next thing is to place the, we place the wires. You can even code these wires here. You can say now from the positive to the variable wire number one, from variable to the point P wire number two. Then there is mounted wire PQ. We don't need it. It is already there. Then from Q to from Q to no, I will repeat here. Sorry. From the source. The source is the best. Source is the best, okay? So from the source to the switch, wire number one. From the switch to the variable, wire number two. From the variable resistor to point P, wire number three. From P to Q is already mounted. We don't need it. I don't need to label it, to number it. So from Q to A, wire number four. From ammeter to bulb, wire number five. And then from bulb back to the source, wire number six. So those are the wires I shall place. So, for example, let us do it practically. I take a wire, like now, here, this is a wire from the source, from the source here, from the source up to, from the source to the switch, wire number one, source P1, 
positive source to switch. Then I move on from switch here, from the switch up to one of the terminals here. Can put it there. So from the switch to the terminal. Now that is, remember, as you count the terminals of the variable 1, 2, 3, you will either connect 1 and 2 or 3 and 2. Okay? So I have already done wire number 2. Uh, it has gone to variable. Now I need wire number 3. Wire number 3 takes me from, uh, it takes me from the wire num uh, terminal 2 up to the point P. That. Remember, you can start from positive of the source. Okay? So from positive to the switch. And then wire number 2 takes you from the switch now to the variable. Wire number 3 from variable to the point P. Then you have mounted which is around 10 centimeter. So what do I do now? I have another wire which should take me from Q up to the up to the ammeter. Okay? Then I have another wire. Preferably you can take a short one from from uh, the source from the ammeter. I can go to I need a small one. Uh -huh. Okay. I need a small one which can take me from the from the source. You can open here or you can use the ones which you you plug in from the top. They are very good. So let us do from there up to the bulb. That is wire number here. From the ammeter up to the bulb, wire number five. So I am only remaining with one wire, wire number six. So if I take wire number six, it should take me from the bulb, we clamp here, up to the back. Here. Now, once I have done that, once I am done with that, I should be able to put in the key. Okay, put in the key. Mm -hmm. I can get a key here to be very good. I have misplaced my key, but that should not worry. I now connect the two. The key is supposed to complete the circuit. Now I can connect these two because I don't have the key. But normally you should have the key. I just misplaced it. Now you can check. You can check your circuit. Can you see the bulb here? The bulb is lighting. That means the current is flowing. You know what happens if the pointer goes below zero or if the pointer goes beyond the scale. Below zero, if the pointer went below zero, so don't cramp. If the pointer went below zero, what do you do? Change the terminals, these terminals. Okay? The, the, you swap them. You swap them. Okay? Now, after I have seen that this circuit is working, I switch off. I remove the key. Okay? I remove the key. I wish I had the key then it would be practical. I don't have the key, I've just misplaced it. I'll get one within a short time. So once I know that circuit is complete, I come now to the, the major loop is complete. Now I come to the minor loop. So the minor loop is here. I can use these wires just for demonstration. I can use these ones now. Um, for example here, I can take a wire Yes, I can take a wire here, put there, that one, that one can take me there comfortably, okay, then I have another one here, and then I can also use that. So once you've connected the two arms of the voltmeter, 
Now I'm dealing with the, I'm dealing with minor loop. Once I've connected the two arms, I just come and check. Put them manually. I can come here, place it here. Then this one, place it there. What do you do? You put the key. Now, there. Then I check. Oh, yes, it is working. Now, suppose, suppose somebody had put it this way. Let us suppose now that your connections were that. You don't cram and that. What would have happened? I want you to check the ammeter. Check. This is what happens. This is below zero. Okay? Below zero. So what do you do if it's below zero? These two can swap. Or their arms can swap. Okay? So those two can swap or their arms can swap. Now, let me swap here because it is very easy. There. So I have that and that there. Then this and that. So you can check. It is correct. It is correct. So what happens? Check now. What happens to these meters? I want you to check what happened to the meters. If I may give it a slight inclination so that you check. There. Slight inclination, you check. So the focus is here and here and the bulb. The bulb is only telling us how current flows. Bulb is telling us how current flows. It is a picture of this or it is an image of this, whichever way you want. This and that <coughs> work very closely. So what happens? If I vary the resistance, see, I want you to see what happens if I may hold it a bit far. You check here, check here, check the bulb. But we start with the bulb. It is dim, dim. Okay, I can make it more bright. What do you think is happening? When it is dim, less current. When it is very bright, more current. What happens here? When resistance is less, there is more current. When the road is rough, it has high resistance. Few vehicles flow there. Few vehicles will take that route. But if the road is tarmacked, it has less res resistance. Therefore, more vehicle will take that. That is how this current operates. So you can check more current. High amount of current shown by this. You can also check this and that. Now, this and that. Okay, as I dim, the pointer goes to zero. Less current. Dim. Bright. Dim. Bright. Dim. It's nice. Okay? So this is what I wanted you to learn. Folks, this is under electricity. Electricity will come. Okay? So you must arrange items the way they are drawn on your paper. Place your paper. Arrange the items. Number two, visualize the loops. There will be major loop and minor loop. A minor loop has only voltmeter. Okay? After visualizing the loops and you have arranged the items, place the wires. Because these items are connected by wires. Start from positive. Go round connecting all the way in the major loop until you come back to the negative of the source. Put on the key to show if the circuit is complete. If you have a, a, a device with polarity, that is with positive and negative, like ammeter, voltmeter, see what to do when something goes wrong. What are the two things that can be wrong despite the flow of this current? You may have the pointer below zero which calls for change of polarity. 
If the pointer goes beyond the scale, it calls for change of scale. Remove the key, okay? Or while the key is on, connect the two arms of the voltmeter as required. Do not cram. Just connect them and see the pointer. Again, if the pointer is below zero, swap the connection. If it is beyond the scale, it requires change of scale, either a bigger scale or a smaller scale. I want you to subscribe because more is coming. Subscribe so that you get the notification of anything new. This one will be uploaded the following day. Until then, I say bye-bye. Check. The next lesson, we'll be trying to connect a simple circuit to show how a capacitor is charged. Don't miss that. Bye-bye.